Hi guys, welcome back and uh, in this section we'll explore the foundation of prompt engineering that is called prompts. So prompts are the inputs that we give to our prompt engineering models. They can take many forms and can vary in the complexity and the context. It's important to understand that prompts because they are the starting point for generating the text outputs. They provide the context and constraints for the text to the large language models like ChatGPT or Google Bard or any other kind of large language model so that it can generate the required output. So let's just start by exploring the different type of prompts that, that you might encounter. There are seven types of prompts like uh, quotient prompts, statements, prompts with multiple inputs or prompts with constraints. So understanding these all different type of prompts is important because it can help you choose the right prompt for your desired output. The type of prompt you choose can also impact the complexity and the quality of your output. So now let's just look at some key features because when you understand the key features of the prompt, you understand the prompts more de uh, deeply and you can also provide more uh, context and in information in the prompt to get the accurate and uh, efficient output. So the key features include the length of the prompt, the specific language used in the prompt or any context or constraints that are included. It can be summarized as what you expect and how you want it to be done or constraints that you want to set up. These constraints might include things like the tone of the text, the style of the specific requirement for the text or the things that you want in the output. These two things, the what you expect and how you want it to be done, these two things will define the prompt and how well you define these two things will get you more accurate output. So to help you better understand, let's look at some examples. I just enter here what is the capital of France. So when I enter the uh, capital of France, it gives me the capital of France is Paris and along with some more additional information about the Paris. So that shows that the prompt of chat GPT gives us more information about our answer as well. If I just say that what is the capital of France, it says Paris, that's it. But it is also giving me more information and more context about capital of the France. It should be a one word answer, but it, it is not. So that, that means we need a prompt engineering here. We need to mention that what is the capital of France, give a one word answer. So if we write the prompt in this way, it just turn us as Paris. So as you see, I do it and it gives me the answer as Paris only. Okay, so let us try some other prompts that uh, I just mentioned here that uh, uh, gave me a Python code to get the prime numbers of out of array of numbers. So as, as you see, it just write the code for me. So that that is the code and uh, with all the explanation about the code as well that how this code works and uh, then i just ask it to write a essay on world war ii in 500 words so here you see that what i expect i expect an essay on world war ii and what are my constraints constraints are 500 words for that it just only write the essay in the 500 words so it generated the whole essay as well as you just see on the screen okay so now let, let's just talk about the deconstruction of the prompt so let's just say you already have a prompt and you want to deconstruct it you want to know that uh, what are the elements and key features and, and constraints in this prompt so deconstructing a prompt is the process of breaking it down into the individual component to better understand the key feature and constraint so this can involve looking at the things like uh, uh, what is the specific language to use what is the requirement of the, this prompt what are the constraints of this prompt like uh, it just say that you have to generate the output in a specific format or specific word so all these kind of small small thing we can get to know what are the constraints and what is the expectation from this prompt so if you just get a prompt like uh, I just say uh, write a blog on this theme in 1000 words and use SEO to optimize it. So in this whole prompt, my main requirement is to write a blog and my constraints are write in 1000 words plus use SEO to optimize it. These are my constraints and my object. 
So I think now you will have a solid understanding of different type of prompts and the key feature of the prompts and how to deconstruct them and identify the constraints in the prompt. So now are you ready to take the step on prompt engineering to the next level because in the next part we will do a building a prompt engineering model by using the pre-trained models. So let's meet in the next video. Thank you guys. Thank you.